Hi guys, I just have a quick passage to share with you today from The Mystical Hope. Mystical Hope by Cynthia Bourgeau. <clears throat> I was just reading this, taking a little break and felt called to share. So. so it goes, when you're a true hermit, you're never alone. Rafe used to teach this to me. He lived out his hermit's vocation in a small cabin under the side of a mountain in what many would see as a life of ultimate uninvolvement with the world. And yet, Rafe knew and lived the truth that hermits from all ages have known and lived, that the solitary work of prayer is ultimately communal. <laughs> and in powerful though mysterious ways, it upholds and maintains the life of this planet at an energetic level. Prayer piercing prayer, as Julian of Norwich, another legendary hermit called it, affects something mightily. It pierces to the heart of God, like a strong electric current coursing through the mercy, subtly rearranging and revivifying everything. Rafe was so convinced that the real work of prayer was done at this level that he used to say, only half jokingly, that the principal job of a hermit was to quote unquote, help maintain the spiritual ozone level of the planet. Rafe taught me one other thing, which I will come back to later in this chapter. He used to say, quote unquote, no conscious act is ever wasted. He believed that the quality of his attention in the way he changed a tire on his old scout or recovered from a burst of anger could palpably change the quality of life on the planet. Pure acts of compassion or attention always affect something at the planetary level, he felt. They always change the course of events subtly, but unmistakably. I'm going to leave that with you today. I'm not even going to speak on it. I was just called to share this little passage with you. Lots of love, guys. Talk soon.